So there are times where you want an isolated fillet. For example, here, I don't want the whole handle to be you know, smooth. I just want a specific part. So let's go and make a little block here. I'm not gonna show you how to sketch because I'm assuming you know how to do that. Let's go ahead and union to those parts. And now we have an isolated area to work with and I can make an isolated fillet. So this is basically the best and easiest way to make it happen. Now just go ahead and lower those to whatever it was before and you have your part. And in most cases, you're probably gonna to wanna to smooth those out. So let's go ahead and select the edges and we can fillet those as well. And we're gonna do a double fillet so that we have smooth edges also on the edge that connects to the fillet. So that way we have a really nice looking and soft to touch edge, because this is like a handle style thing. So let's go ahead and also move those edges because I don't like how there's that line right there. So I'm gonna move those over and you do that by selecting, not everything, but those specific edges that need to move. So basically, as you can see right here, what I selected and we move by 0.2 because that's how much we fillet it to. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. <coughs> and we have a nice looking part right about now. So as you can see, now it's basically just the way we want it and it's really clean. And let me go ahead and show you one more thing on another side what we can do that's similar to this but slightly different also for those of you wondering what's that cracking noise that's because i'm i was sitting by a fire a couple minutes ago but anyways let's move on and go ahead and show you this last part so as you can see some edges are harder to work with uh because of the curves that they have like for example this bottom edge is easy to work with you can see you can select it and move it but the side one it won't do it until you do that bottom one because it needs to have a specific amount of play that you can you can use so what we can do in that case is we have to extend that piece and make sure it's a new body because as you can see it connected over there on the left side so we need a new body and then we union it after that so that we do have that piece that we can isolate now we can fillet that edge and we can go ahead and put that one back to how it was before and now i'm going to show you another trick which we're what we're going to do is we're going to uh, rotate this so what we need to do is select the place that we need to work on we need to deselect it rotate it 45 degrees then we select it again and then we go ahead and turn it a little bit 75 degrees in this case so that we have the edge that we want and we do it that way and independently and individually every time because if you did it this way it does not center that axis point so what we do is we go ahead and transform tool again and that way it's centered we rotate it and then we go ahead and select it and rotate it again. Then I always like to check my work to make sure that uh, I got all the corners. And as you can see, that paid off because if you look closely, we have a misaligned object. So let's go ahead and align that by using the align tool, which is actually a really great tool for most situations. So we select the object, then we select the face that we want to align to, select the second face, and then we move it into place that way it snaps right where we need it. All right, so once we have that, let's go ahead and smooth out these edges because this is basically the way that I want this product. And you'll have to play with it sometimes because it doesn't always do exactly what you think it will. Uh, but in most cases, you can get exactly what you want if you kind of mess around with different situations. But let's go ahead and finish that up, make it look nice. And what this was actually is a uh, like a pro kids workbench project which i wanted to incorporate like wood plastic and 3d printed parts the black parts specifically uh, so that we have this really great looking you know workbench we even have the light with the details we have the whiteboard that you can draw prototypes on before you create them we have the desk with the pencil holders and pen holders and then inside there's like the groove so that the bolts and nuts don't fall out so I had a lot of fun doing this project. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.